Hello everyone and welcome. Make a cup of your favorite drink and get comfortable because this is a wonderful time for new stories from Yellowcat. Send your own stories in the comments below and maybe they'll be in our new video. What did your a-hole neighbor do? He had two access roads to his property, he didn't even live there, he just had livestock there, and insisted on using the one cut through our property, despite the fact that it was the longer route and it was a literal unpaved road through the woods. He didn't have an easement or anything, just assumed that since he had to drive through our property to get to that S lane road, he was allowed to do so. He was a total D to us for no reason, never said hi, got upset if we were too close to his property, despite the fact that he literally drove through our property every day. Revenge came when lightning struck a tree in the woods and it fell right across the access to the lane road on our property. He hired a service to chop the tree up and told them they could have the wood as part of the payment. It was a nice walnut. My dad wasn't having any of that. He walked down there with a copy of the sales document, pointed out the marker that clearly separated our land from our a-hole neighbor's land, got the neighbor to admit that the tree in question was both from our land and currently laying on our land, not his, and then my dad sent the crew packing and told them if they took so much as a branch from that tree, it was theft and he, a lawyer, would see them in court for it. It's been over 15 years, and that tree is still laying across the access to the lane road. He can still access his property via the other road, so he didn't have a leg to stand on to force an easement. F you, Jim. Got his cop buddies to come put stickers on our cars, claiming they were illegally parked, so he had to move them so he would have room for his guests to park. I bought a corner lot in a newer subdivision, so I have curb and sidewalk on two sides of my property. The side of my house has plenty of room for parking, which I sometimes use, my stepson uses, and sometimes the other neighbors I like use. New neighbor bought a house on the other side of the street from my side and doesn't have a lot of street parking for his lot. He claims that the parking on my side of the road is his because it is across the street from his house. When confronted about the fact that it is just parking and no way belongs to him, me, or anybody, he told us he knows people in the police department that can take care of this. He also picked this time to scream pretty specific mean things about all his new neighbors and how each one was S like he is watching us. Ah, please allow me to vent because I am in the throes of this BS at the moment. First, they have four mini dash hounds that never shut the F up. I cannot even open my back door without these little dogs going off and they just leave their dogs outside all day. I enjoy sitting outside on a nice day and reading, but nope, I can't even concentrate over the ear splitting constant yapping. Now, I am a dog person. I own dogs and love dogs, but this complete lack of consideration is mind boggling. Second, they rent and I own, but the crazy A wife told me she owns a three strip of my property and they'll be moving the fence over. I don't have a huge yard. Three is a lot of space and did I mention they rent? I brought out my survey to say, no, you don't own it and no, you aren't going to be moving the fence. And she continued to say that they had their own survey but refused to show it to me. Third, they seem to think it's no big deal if they come into my yard. I came home from work to find they'd move their water drainage into my backyard. They complained about my tree and asked me to cut it down. I said no. They put their garbage cans in my driveway. I've witnessed the wife empty her vacuum cleaner in my driveway. She has blown piles of leaves that haven't even come from my tree into my driveway. Even after I put locks on my gate, she climbed up on a ladder, leaned over the fence, and leaf blew all the leaves in my yard and that were already in piles all over my yard. After that, I put up cameras and have future plans to press charges for trespassing the next time this crazy bee pulls another stunt. She accused me of calling the police about her daughter's illegal car, I didn't, and putting up a note complaining about her garbage, I didn't. She has called the health department multiple times on me for my grass being too long. It wasn't and the health department did not cite me. Listen, all I want to do when I come home after a day at work is hang out with my dogs and not effing talk to anyone or deal with any S. I don't know what to do about her. 
It's like all these little things she does that toe the line at illegal, and I feel like if I call the police, they're just going to look at it as a petty neighbor squabble instead of harassment. I have been in touch with the landlord. I completely cut off all contact with the neighbors and will now only talk to the landlord. The landlord himself is extremely accommodating and addressed the water drainage issue. The thing is, they're awful neighbors, but they're not bad tenants. They keep their property very clean and tidy and do a lot of the work on the house. She's just out of her GD mind. I have a solution to your first problem. I've got a neighbor that puts his two tiny yappers out and they just bark all day. Favorite spot, right by our window. Look up the Sunbeam Sonic Egg. Can't link because mobile and lazy, but we just hung it out by our window and they can't bark on our side of the yard anymore. It emits a high-pitched noise when they bark near it, so they bark at their owner's bedroom window now. Coincidentally, they keep their dogs from H inside more than out now. The neighbor I used to have across the street from me once beat me out for having a car parked on the grass off my own lawn. The streets were narrow and you're technically not supposed to park in them. The car was parked so that the tires on the passenger side of the car were both on the grass by about a foot, but it was at least helping not to block the street. This was only temporary. When she started being at me from her house, I thought it was because she didn't like seeing the car in the street. I could have at least understood that, but no. She was furious, and I do mean furious, simply because the tires on my grass were going to ruin my lawn, and my ruined lawn meant that it was going to lower her property value. She was trying to sell her home. She argued that parking on my own grass was illegal, that her husband was an attorney, and that she was going to be calling the police. I told her to call, and I told her be of a husband to come talk to me. Neither happened. Badmouths us to other neighbors. All lies, including anything from we are miserable to we are dirty and from a third world country. Stares at us when we are anywhere remotely close to her as if we are the pests of the world. When we are parked on the street normally with her car either in front of us or behind us, she would move her car as much as possible away and get whoever the other car's owner in front or behind us to move away as well so it looks like we took two spots, then proceed to complain that we are always taking two spots. Has called parking enforcement on us multiple times. No tickets were issued. We took out an old dishwasher to the curb so that it will be ready to load onto a truck to take it to the dump. Called the city on us. City sent someone and we had to move it back to the house until the truck came. We had a perfectly healthy tree in our backyard. One day we overhear her complaining to a neighbor about how the tree blocks the sun from shining on their backyard. About a month later, we get an order from the city to have it cut down. Still unsure what the reason to have it cut was. Two years ago, she remodeled her backyard. Complete renovation. She set up what we nicknamed the Berlin Wall, a massively high wall right on the edge of her property abutting against our property. Why? Because we are always looking at her. The problem is that we have a deck that extends to about one third the length of the backyard. Every time she exits her house to go to her backyard, there is visibility between our properties, Berlin Wall or not. As a test, we've used our cell phone screens about four or five times as mirrors and what do you know, every time she would be looking at us. Has called the police on us for mowing our lawn with a loud, it's quieter than other people's electric mower in the middle of the day on Saturday. Parking again. One day my dad parked properly where a fire hydrant is, but she loves that spot because it is in front of her house. She parked in a different spot, but starts a conversation with a neighbor. I overhear from my room that overlooks the street. Pointing at our car, she easily complained about how much space there was wasted. There wasn't. There is a tree that matches give or take what three meters away from the hydrant is. The neighbor joked that he should get his truck and push our car forward. He's an a-hole too. The next day, my dad didn't go anywhere, so his car stayed there. She tried to park and obviously didn't fit. She rammed our car to try and push it forward. We called the cops, but all they did was give her a warning since the damages were less than $1,000. Didn't bother with insurance or anything as the dent easily buffed out. Scratch is still there though. We have a fire pit in our backyard. We know we have the space to legally light it, so one summer night we did. 
She was on her third floor patio drinking when she starts recording us and yelling that she will call the fire department. Slams the door, goes inside. Fire department never arrived. Parking again. My father has a disability parking permit because of his back. Once in a while, I will have to drive his car and sometimes when there is no spot available, I will park on the opposite side of the street relatively in front of the house. She complains to neighbors that, oh, they abuse it. After her Berlin Wall was set up, her contractor couldn't find a good way to close her gate that leads to the path in between the two homes. She kicked, we witnessed her kicking it, our fence and support pillar that supports the deck until the fence was bent out of shape. On the side of the house, an all original downpipe was sending rainwater down between the two homes. It's original, always been like that. She has two identical ones which also send the rain into the middle of the path. She had her husband rip it off literally tear it down. He set it down on our deck, trespassing. I can go on, there is more. They waited until we went on vacation, ripped out our fence, cut down our mature flowering dogwood tree and built a deck that encroached and continues to encroach on our property. Not to mention they had at least 10 outdoor cats constantly roaming around that didn't seem to be well fed or taken care of. They'd constantly S all over our yard. One of the few childhood memories I have was walking up the stairs in my home with a bucket of crayons and getting confused at the sight of a cat on the landing above me. Then I went downstairs and found my two pet birds dead. I hated cats after that. Until 15 years later when I walked into a PetSmart to pick up supplies for my fish tank and decided to look at the kitties for adoption, which I regularly did. I saw the most beautiful older kitty I have ever seen and instantly fell in love. On top of that, she is the sweetest cat in the world and I can't imagine life without her. Thank you for watching. Guys, thank you for all the support and the likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. See you next time.